Uh, thank you for joining us. This is the Automation and AI webinar bringing fleet maintenance into the 21st century uh, in collaboration with UVI and RoboTire. UVI is a pioneer in the field of automation um, vehicle inspection systems and uses hardware combined with artificial intelligence powered by software to deliver uh, actionable insights that help fleets boost uptime, decrease running costs, and maintain safety standards. RoboTire uses uh, cutting edge robotics and AI technology to automate the tire changing process, freeing up mechanics, technicians, and engineers to help focus more on technical services and repairs. Uh, speaking today from UVI is the US Director of Sales, Mike Bush. Uh, Mike has over a decade of experience in the transportation industry. Uh, within Fleet, he has worked in risk management, product strategy, and technology development. Also joining us today from RoboTire is the Senior Manager of Operations, Ben Wilson. Previously, the COO of Virginia Tech and our Tech Tire and Auto is well versed in the rapidly expanding and improving business operations on the regional scale. Mike, we touched a little bit about um, UVI, just kind of scratched the surface a little bit. Would you mind uh, diving into it, into your own words, kind of giving us the the what and the why? Yeah, thank you, Brian. It's it's great to be here today. I appreciate everyone taking the time. Founded in 2016 by brothers Amir and Ohad Heaver, what we are is an automated vehicle inspection system company. And that's a combination of hardware and software. The hardware is shown on the screen on your left. So there's three product lines. There's an undercarriage, there's a tire product line, and there's a body scanning. So each of these products can be used individually depending upon the use case, um, but many people use them, all three of them together as a system to provide a, a comprehensive uh, exterior assessment of, of their vehicles. So why is this relevant for fleets? Because fleets are not always inspected. It's, it's a manual process right now. You know, you ask any fleet manager how often it's done, it may be 20, 30% of the time. So what we can do is we can do that on a daily basis without taking the time to manually do it. And we will provide objective, consistent, and, and actionable information back to the fleet in order to, to drive proactive decisions and maintenance. And the end result is we're able to, to boost uptime, decrease maintenance costs by fixing things earlier rather than later, and identify safety issues before they turn into uh, to a larger issue. So I think at this point, it, it makes sense to see what the system looks like in action. So here you go. Here you see a fleet going through our system. And as you'll notice, the vehicles do not have to stop. They can go through up to eight miles an hour. And, and in a matter of seconds, uh, the system is taking hundreds of pictures. And those pictures are, are then sent through our software via the cloud. And, and this is where the artificial intelligence comes into play. Up top, you see a, a body scan and damage. We're able to identify damage that wasn't there or, or damage that has just shown up. Scrack, scratches dings, dents, cracks, and then also tires. Tires is a major issue. And in this example here, specifically, we're able to identify a leak on the onset. Uh, so that's, that's our system in a nutshell. And, uh, thanks, Mike, for, uh, for volunteering to join me on the webinar. You know, glad everyone's here, and we're excited to talk a little bit about our respective companies. So RoboTire was founded in 2018 when our founder, Victor, was spending probably a little bit too much time in a tire shop getting his wife's tire changed and you know, thought there has to be a better way. Uh, Victor had quite a bit of experience with robots. Uh, you know, A lot of his products were in the assembly line at Apple or, or SpaceX or Tesla. And you know, we uh, fast forward to 2020, uh, came out with our first version of the RoboTire system. So we automate the tire changing process, taking what was previously a very physical and, and demanding task and making it easier through robots. So as you can see, uh, both robots work simultaneously, enabling for a set of tires to be changed in 20 minutes. So that means it's about three times more efficient uh, than the typical process without a robot to help supplement the work. The RoboTire specializes in taking the physically demanding aspects of tire service and automates them so the, so the operator can focus on the more value-added tasks. Uh, you know, for example, as I mentioned earlier, the RoboTire system 
uh, requires about three to five minutes of actual human intervention uh, in a 30 minute process. So the rest is done by a programmed machine, pre-programmed machine. So previously what was a 100% human centered process is reduced about 90%. So the technician isn't able to do what they do best and operate the machine instead of actually be the machine. Yeah, so we touch on a number of points as it relates to this slide. And let's start with automation, um, the ability for a machine to complete tasks or work with minimal human intervention. Once the vehicle is scanned, the computer vision AI that is core to our software and solution is designed to identify the anomalies, specifically detect vehicle damage as a driver would be inspecting their, their vehicle for damage. Um, let's take tires as an example. Our software is designed to, to apply reasoning to detect and identify the difference between a safe tire and a tire that has a low tread or a cut. More accurate issue detection over time. There's, there's a few obvious parallels between the two companies, but um, Mike, can you expand on what brought uh, UVI and RoboTire together? Yeah, first, we, we are independent companies and solutions, but our solutions truly are complementary in terms of solving common problems for similar customers, as in the case of fleets. Uh, for example, in a fleet that utilizes both of our systems, they would achieve truly uh, an enhanced level of maintenance efficiency and vehicle uptime. By rethinking one of our most critical assets, employee time, we can solve their, their challenge of, of limited labor. I agree 100%. You know, we are always looking for companies that are forward thinking and operate in the automotive and fleet industries. And, you know, quite frankly, UVI fits that mold. When, when fleet managers think about what's next for their business, we want them thinking outside the box. We want them thinking about technology that has not existed before and really helps enable them to be, you know, more agile and, and just better organizations. Uh, fleet managers are faced with an evolving landscape of innovation within the automotive industry. And both of our companies are on the leading edge of that innovation. What would the perfect RoboTire UVI installation look like from like a fleet manager's perspective? The more vehicles, the greater frequency they use our systems, the more information the fleet managers will have to, to make proactive decisions in terms of, of labor and, uh, and uptime. Business model, high volume. You know, the more vehicles you run through the system, the better the ROI get. You know, RoboTire, and UVI can offer a consistent process each and every time, meaning better predictability and less downtime. The quicker you can process vehicles, uh, the better fleet utilization, which of course means more customers served and happier customers, Brian. What have you seen from the earlier, the early stages of implementation and, and how have technicians and fleet managers responded to, uh, to the systems? Yeah, this, this is a good question um, because the technology does impact multiple people's uh, daily activities. So I'll break it down into to two stages. Um, the first stage is, is I'll call a curiosity and adjustment period. The extended team, and that includes maintenance, it could include dispatch, safety, and drivers, need to get used to our system being there. And the fact that it's, it's capturing data that can be part of their daily planning. Um, at this stage, we work really closely with our customers to assess the data and the detections that are, are coming out to make sure that they align with what's their priority. So we can recalibrate the levels of severity based on their needs. The second stage, once the data is, is calibrated and fit for their needs, it's, it's trusting in the data and using it to truly make actionable decisions. Uh, so for example, pulling a vehicle because our system identified an issue and, and changing tires outside of the normal preventative maintenance because there was an issue identified with, with the wear. So making these decisions that ultimately increase their uptime safety and, and decrease their costs. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, the RoboTire team actually spent last month in uh, at SEMA in Las Vegas. And at least from our perspective, the response could not have been better. We had an overwhelming response and tons of interest from shop owners and fleet managers around the country. You know, as Mike said, from a technician's perspective, there's always an adjustment period. Uh, you know, technicians are used to doing things a certain way, uh, and it's sometimes hard to envision how this type of technology will enable them to focus on uh, what, what I believe is the theme of, theme of this webinar is just more value-added tasks. Seeing is believing. 
So we like to showcase the technology as often as possible. You know, once the technician understands, uh, truly understands how this change will benefit them and make their lives easier, it's just a matter of repetition. The more reps you get, the easier it will be to build a process and around the technology instead of the other way around. You know, we spend a lot of time on site training the team and we don't leave until you're comfortable with the system. What sort of efficiencies uh, are gained by this level of automation and AI? Yeah, tons. So from RoboTire's perspective, uh, we are reducing the physicality of the tire changing process by 90%. You know, changing tires is a, is a really tough job. And if we can do anything to make that job easier, that's our goal. Now, this really allows the technician to focus their energy on overseeing the process as well as quality control. Um, you know, not to mention it frees the technician up to perform a quality vehicle inspection, whether it's under hood or brakes or, or what have you, while the tire changing process is happening. Additionally, it really allows for a consistent process each and every time, meaning fleet managers and shop owners can get smarter with how they schedule their work. Building upon that, the level of automation that RoboTire can provide allows for a level of service that, could be un, that will be unmatched by those that do not have that same level of technology. I mean, take a look at the pain points listed on this chart. I think both UV, UVI and RoboTire can solve many of these pain points. Would you agree, Mike? Yeah, this, this chart really hits home for us and, and areas that we focus on. As, as I go through the chart, you know, you look at driver safety, vehicle maintenance, cost of ownership, uh, regulations. I mean, we, we impact so many of these areas. So the final mile fleets that, that embrace our technology have, have an opportunity to, to address these issues um, so ultimately, they, they gain from proactively addressing these issues and, and free up more uptime, uh, find efficiencies in terms of maintenance and, and costs, and, and ultimately improve safety uh, as it relates to their fleet. What level of importance would you place on you know, fleet maintenance in both the short term and long term in your own words? Well, fleet mile use case is especially important. And, and why? Because fleet uh, last mile fleets make their way into residential areas and are subjected to lots of stop and go. And the vehicle is under just a ton of stress. Um, balance that with the need to maintain uh, on-time delivery of hundreds of packages a day. You wanna do everything possible as a fleet owner to help your vehicles, uh, to get the information that gives you um, the ability to be proactive in terms of addressing maintenance so you don't have issues out on the road. Yeah, exactly. You know, as, as Mike mentioned, being proactive is truly the name of the game. There's nothing worse than being caught with several different issues that are preventing one or, or, or worse, more of your fleet vehicles from performing their duties. Uh, understanding what type of repairs are needed ahead of time and smart scheduling will truly empower the forward thinking fleet management team to have an edge that puts them ahead of everyone else. You know, it's all about making sure that these repairs and necessary items are fixed uh, when it's convenient for you, as opposed to when it's not convenient for you. Um, Brian? By learning these new tools, I mean, they're very, very new for the, for the industry. How important is the user uh, interface and user experience in general? Uh, Mike? It's absolutely critical. We can identify issues all day long, but if it's tough, for a user to, to, um, to get to that information, then it does no good. So we've spent a, a lot of time on our user interfaces to make sure that they're very intuitive to use, um, that there's no lag time. And if, if someone wants to, to further look into an issue, there's ways in our, our system to, um, to drill down, to, to zoom in, so they can make decisions um, based on the provided information in real time, be more proactive. That's exactly right. You know, the easier, the better. Our goal is to keep the learning curve to a minimum so that technicians can really hit the ground running. While this type of technology is certainly advanced, you know, Robotire has designed the UI in a way that, as Mike says, intuitive and easy to use. We want technicians focused on being operators of the equipment. You know, we've designed the system to be so user-friendly that, you know, truly the only interface that the technician or operator uses is a simple handheld device that they use to, to scan the VIN and kick off the process. Outside of that, 
uh, it is it is automatic. It is automated. So you know, along with the fleet maintenance industry, or you know, last mile um, industry becoming more complicated, so are the cars and trucks, uh, and they're becoming more complicated mechanically and electronically. Would you say AI and automation are necessary at this point, or you know, at least inevitable? Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, it's 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 funny as you think about electric vehicles or autonomous vehicles, they require fewer moving parts than you know, standard gasoline combustion vehicles. But uh, just the level of complexity is is so much more advanced than ever before. You know, fleet managers really should be planning for the next ten to twenty years as electric vehicles become more and more available. You know, last year electric vehicles accounted for about two percent of all car sales. This summer that number jumped to nearly 5% of light duty vehicles like SUVs and sedans and more than 20% of all passenger vehicle sales. You know, it's, it's all trending in the, in the same direction. Uh, consumer demand for electric vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles will continue to increase each year. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, given increasing complexity with vehicles and increasing pace of change, we really just want to simplify the inspection process for, for fleet owners, make it really easy for them to, to identify issues, even as vehicles change, so we can help them address uh, common issues that, um, that are easily detected through our systems to, to keep them running.